sine theta, then sine theta in this case happened to be 5 over 13. So that's all the component is. <coughs> then you need the perpendicular distance of that from point A. So you're looking at the distance going all the way from here up to here. So <coughs> that will be 12 plus 12. So that's what you get as the force and the perpendicular distance. Then you need the direction again. So we, we go through the same thing. We take the force, move all the way down here. And if this is your connecting rod. I mean, think of this rod as something totally rigid. And then think of this point as a hinge and then see the forces acting in here. So if you imagine this, this rod being pinned at this point and the force at this end, this whole thing will rotate. It will go like this. And that's also the direction of the couple. So <coughs> for this part, direction comes out to be like this or clockwise. So you have one, the first part was kind of clockwise, you have the second part that's clockwise. So <coughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, we go 260, 513, 24, and I'm going to switch this direction to counterclockwise and place a negative sign. You can always take any of these equations and you can change the magnitude from positive to negative and that's going to reverse the direction. So all you got to do is now add this to this and <coughs> since this is kind of clockwise so that's again the same thing as K. So in a given equation you need when you when you're adding these moments, then these moments should be in the same direction. You can't have one going counterclockwise and another going in the clockwise. I mean, when you add, then you have to be consistent on that. And I mean, if you go to the actual calculations here, this is going to come out to be. 720 pound feet and the direction remains as counterclockwise. We came out positive, so it should maintain its direction. And I mean, just because the people have problem with this, I mean, this could have been written as 260, 12, 13. And then you had 13 times k. I mean, if you really want to get down to the actual vectors, then the first moment was this being the magnitude and that being the direction. The second one here was 260, 513, 24, and the direction was negative k. So you add these two, you're going to get the same thing as 720 pound feet, that's being magnitude and times k. So whether you want to go <coughs> and look at the clockwise and counterclockwise directions, or if you <coughs> don't like that, then you can always go back to the x, y, z and i, j, k. And you could use the k's and the negative case because in case of the plain problems there are only two possibilities for the direction of the moment. Either you have your moment in the positive z direction which means your unit vector which defines the direction as k or it's in the negative z direction 
and the vector is going to define the direction will be negative k. So these are, as I said, two, only two possibilities. in case of plane problems. <coughs> when you say plane problem, you're looking at both of your forces being in the x or y plane. Okay, we're going to look at another